Jefferson. Thomas Jefferson who? For real. Thomas Jefferson. The guy who wrote the Declaration of Independence. Hey, are you that guy that sits behind me in math class? No, that would be Elijah Jefferson. I'm Thomas. Thomas Jefferson. Out the third president. Is any of this ringing a bell? Anyone? Nope. Since you don't know who I am, listen and I will tell you. I was born in 1745 in Shadwell, Virginia. My mom, my mom's name was Jane and my father's name was Peter. I had nine brothers and sisters and I lived on a huge plantation. I was sent away to go to school at the age of nine. I was a good student and I went to college at the age of 16. I studied law under my good friend, George Weiss, and I became a lawyer in 1767. I liked politics too, and I was elected to the House of Burbsies. When I was elected, my friends and I started rejecting England's rules and starting and fighting for independence. This is where it all began. Britain was ruling the 13 colonies way, from way over in England. The colonists were not happy about the taxes, especially the taxes on tea. A lot of tea, we dumped a lot of tea into the harbor. We had the largest tea party on record. England was furious. We wanted to be free from England and war was declared on April 1775. We created our own Congress. My friends told me I had to write the Declaration of Independence. I didn't want to write it, but they ganged up on me and tricked me into it. You can write ten times better than I can, John Adams said. Little did I know. We hold these truths to be self-evident that all men are created equal. To tell the truth, once I got started, it wasn't that hard. To t oh, right. The declaration was approved on July 2nd, 1776, but we changed it a little. And that's why we celebrate July 4th as our Independence Day. Just because we approved the Declaration of Independence didn't mean we were free. The war continued and the states continued to form their new governments. Many times it looked like the United States would lose, but we finally won in 1781. I got to do a lot of great things after that. I was a minister to France and became the third president of the United States. I had a good life, and strangely enough, I died on July 4th, 1826, exactly 50 years after the United States first celebrated their independence. How's that for a coincidence? Yeah, I got that myself.